What's up guys, welcome to the channel. As always, I appreciate all the love and support on the channel and everything that you guys have done for the channel. And today is actually gonna be a bit, a little bit different. I'm actually here with one of my students, Martha. So go ahead, Martha, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, what got you into this industry, why we're sitting here today and... Um, so first of all, I wanna say thanks to Serge because Thank he's you. been a great mentor for me and my husband. Um, we're totally new to this area of RAL, you know, we um, came into the thought of opening up a, real, or a residential living assistance center because our mother-in-law was sick. Um, she's currently in a nursing home. My mother's getting older. They're both widowed. And we don't really like the situation that my mother-in-law is in right now. So we wanted to bring her here to Arizona. But we quickly, you know, realize that between family members um, and those that are willing to kind of pitch in to help with mom, we couldn't afford to place her in a private facility where we think she would get the care that she deserved. So my husband um, just kind of did some soul searching and it really didn't take him very long to get to the point yeah. where he was like, you know, I'm going to leave my job. You know, he was in a corporate job doing really, really well, been there for over 20 years. And he decided that leaving his job to open up a real estate or a residential um, assistant living was the best thing for um, us, for mom, you know, for the situation at the time. And so tell us a little bit about kind of like, you know, the course, how you just pretty much about it, what your experience was with it, what you've learned from it, you know, and then meeting me. Because initially... She just went through the course. I didn't like she reached out and was like, is there an opportunity to meet you? And I love meeting my students and like love talking with them. And if there is an opportunity for me to be able to like take them on and do one on one with them and stuff. So, yeah, talk a little bit about that and kind of just how the whole thing came about and stuff. So, well, um, as soon as we knew that, you know, this was a serious venture for us and this is just something that it wasn't even just a business decision. It, it was it, it has to happen. Um, we need to get mom here. So we're, you know, just rolling as fast as we can. So I'm, as soon as I came across your videos, um, I found you on Facebook. And first, that's where you found me? No, I found you on YouTube first because okay. I was trying to do some research on RALs in the, in the area. Um, mm -hmm. And I kept coming across, you know, some of the, these, you know, other things that just didn't really fit what I was looking for. So once I found you um, and Legion Manor, then okay. I kind of stopped you on Facebook. <laughs> so I found him on Facebook. To make sure <laughs> I found I was the real. website. Yeah, because I do a lot of stalking on that. That's but um, no, it, I have to feel this connection. And I think that's what I found with Serge is I felt a connection. I felt, you know, he was genuine uh, coming across his videos. So I thought, okay, well, you know, I'm going to give this guy my money and I'm going to take his training course and I'm just going to take the leap of faith. Um, regardless, I need the guidance. So... I feel comfortable with search. So yeah. I did. Um, we kind so of connected. Would you, so would you tell people not to purchase anything from anybody, regardless of who they are, until they're 150% sure this is what they're going to do? Oh, yeah. Is that should. what you would highly recommend? You would do, yeah. Because I think there yeah. are, I come across a oh, lot yeah. of people that you either email me and say, you know, hey, this is kind of what I think I might want to do. What do you recommend? Like, you know, and, but yeah, that's what I, I think a lot of people need to hear that. Yes. I mean, it's to so... make sure that this is really what you want to do before investing any kind of money into it. Mm -hmm. so. and, and how, you know, what's the best way? And I don't think I need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for somebody to tell me that this is what I want to do. Yeah. You know, I have a need. We have a need. This fits our need. Yeah. Um, like I said, it wasn't about the money making the business. It's about, you know, bringing mom in. And if we can care for other residents in our home to make this business work, obviously, you know, that's we wouldn't even consider it if we didn't have the love for the seniors that we have. Yeah. But the point is, is I didn't feel like I needed to spend a lot of money to get some of this, you know, advice or research or training that what I needed and what I needed was a mentor. Yeah. And with your course, that's what I found. Yeah. You know, I found the mentor. Um, the fact that when I reached out to you, you were so receptive yeah. and you were willing to, you know, help me, you know, with my questions, I didn't even know what I was asking. You know, sometimes yeah, it's like, yeah. hey, this is what you're really asking. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm new to the industry. So those are the things that really are helping me 
I would totally, you know, recommend the course, yeah. not just because um, once you take the course, you know, you may say like, okay, well, you know, I, I learned about that or I knew about that, but you really kind of go into more detail, yeah. but it's the connection, you know, yeah. you, once you take the course and you go through everything that you're going to be expected to do, um, it kind of gives kind you of a puts better visualization into perspective yeah. of like, wow, that's a big responsibility. There's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of checklists. There's, you know, the SOP and there's a lot to do. It's yeah. a big responsibility. And I'm just glad that I found, you know, the information, you know, the mentor, the guidance, the yeah. training that I needed that fit what we needed to do. Yeah. And I think like ultimately when I decided to do everything, I mean, when you reached out and I, I, I can't tell people this enough, like going through a program, don't get me wrong. I've purchased a program or two in the past, like, mm -hmm. you know, whether it was like learning about that or whatever it was that I was trying to learn back then. But <laughs> regardless though, I think once I went through it, I did feel that guilt on myself of like, dang, like I, I have to do this now. And if I don't do this, like I suck or like I'm not good <laughs> enough, you know? Right. And I think, I think a lot of people go through that and they've experienced that with previous courses, whether they bought them or not. Mm -hmm. And I guess on my part, I just never reached out to the person that sold me that, right? Or like whatever the case was. Oh, but, yeah. And that was my fault. That wasn't anybody's fault. But you decided to take it on yourself and yeah. be like, hey, could you, could we meet, you know, and you never know unless you ask. And that's yeah. something I've learned over time in life. Just really is just ask guys, like don't ever be scared to just reach out or ask because you never know what well, can come from it. Your success depends on you. Yeah. You know, your success isn't going to, you know, depend on somebody asking that question for you or, you know, that answer is just not going to come about, you know, without just fall you. out of the sky, you yeah. know, sometimes, Hey, it works out and, you know, call it luck or call it, you know, whatever. But <laughs> yeah. most of the time you have to take the steps to, you know, make sure that your plan is successful. And that's, you know, just part of my background, you know, that's what we do. You know, yeah. um, if we have a plan, you know, we're going to get all the information we can yeah. do what we need to do. And then we're going to continue after we get the information we need to yeah. reach out, we're not reinventing the wheel. Exactly. You know, yep. the information's there. Um, having someone to help you and guide you through, you know, not to hold your hand, but just to, you know, help you along the way is so important. I fully intend to, you know, become comfortable enough in this industry, you know, where I can, you know, yeah. pay it forward. Yeah, You know, exactly. I can help answer the questions. You know, we have so many seniors out there that really, really, really need the help. Yeah. Um, they need the care. They need the love. They need the attention. They need to feel like they still matter in this world. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest part of doing all of this is my mother-in-law still matters. Yes. You know, having her in a nursing home, it, she doesn't feel like she matters. She doesn't feel like she is a part of the world anymore. Yeah. And that's why we want to bring her here. That's why we want to do this. We want to bring seniors into our home and let them know that you still matter wow. and we're here to take care yeah. of you. So. That, that's, that's deep. And it really is. And I, I think like she was saying, success leaves clues. It mm -hmm. always does. Mm -hmm. And so many people question themselves when it comes to this and they wonder and they doubt themselves. Like I can tell easily from reading other people's emails and things that they message me with, like there's so much doubt. Yeah. And I get that, like I understand that, but guys, so many people have been successful at it, including myself and she's been to the home. She came to the home and that was where we met. You have a beautiful home. Yeah, and yeah. I, I wanted to give her, you guys have seen the tour, but like I, there's so much stuff online now that you can just like, anybody can make up something and pretend like there's something well, I have to say this. Yeah. Um, the home, your home, Legion Manor. Yeah. When I walked in, I think the one thing that I didn't really expect is how homey it was. I mean, that's kind of, you know, cliche and kind of, you know, but it was, I felt the feeling of like, wow, that, you know, these residents feel comfortable <laughs> here. It was yeah. clean. It yeah. smelled great. You know, it wasn't stale. It, was like, you know, the residents looked happy. Yeah. You know, I would have put my mom there, you know. It's like I yeah. it just hit me like it's not exactly what I was expecting. So me 
thinking my think husband you, and yeah. I are going to open this home and we're going to make it beautiful and great and so cozy because nobody's offering that. <laughs> yeah. But then I walk into your home and I'm like, this is exactly what we want to offer. Yeah. Like it, it, yeah. it's there. You care about the residents and it shows. Yeah. So and I think if it didn't show, I'd probably go look for another mentor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because those are all things that I talk about and like literally emphasize on all the time. And don't get me wrong. There's other homes that have that same exact environment. Oh, I'm and sure. I think what it really comes down to is who you are as a person and where your heart really is mm -hmm. and where those intentions are. And Families can literally sense that. People's BS meters have gotten so much more better. Like they can sense that from whenever they first walk into the home and the minute they shake their your hand. Oh yeah. And so like I would say that because yeah, yeah, you can make a home very nice and very cozy and I talk about it too and I've seen those types of homes and they failed. They ended up selling whatever the case was and that that's so important and I I can and honestly, the reason why I like meeting the people that I'm going to mentor is because I like to see what they're about. Like I can easily now after doing this for a little while and breeding families and getting a sense of how they are and how they're going to be because that's going to play a huge factor. <laughs> I like meeting students that I personally am going to mentor. Yes, like the course gives you kind of an idea and a baseline of what to expect and what to do and how to do things. But like getting a personal mentor, it may not be me. It may be someone in your area or someone who's been doing it for – finding a mentor is important too because if you can't even like get along or like sit there and talk and have a normal conversation, uh, I mean it's probably not going to really be beneficial in the long run or even in the short well, term. And I would be naive to think that we could do this on our own without reaching out for help. Yeah. You know, for us to be successful, you know – Success depends on, you know, not just you willing to reach out and get the help that, you, you know, like I said, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're not jumping into this, you know, creating this new industry. Yeah. Um, you know, so the help is out there. The advice is out there. You know, it's just a matter of tailoring that advice and the help and everything that fit to you, you know, what fits your need and what fits, you know, your business yeah. model. And, um, you know, I was fortunate because, you know, I found it early on in the game, you know, so yeah. now that we go through all of this, you know, I feel a sense of relief that, you know, it's totally doable Yeah, because, yeah. you know, it, it was, a big, it's a big deal for us and, um, it was a big decision for us to do this. Of course. Yeah. And I don't take this lightly. Like I'm going to tell you if a home is not going to work and if a home is going to work and I, my other student can attest to that. I mean, he had a home in a terrible area and I told them, hey, <laughs> might as well go with your like intentions that you had for this home and fix and flip it. This is not going to work, you know, because at the end of the day, like your success is my success. You know, I don't like I don't want you to s fail at this. You know, I don't want to see that. And like I'm going to hold myself accountable to that, <laughs> too, you know, because I'm going to be like, wow, they yeah. put time and energy and money and they put their trust in me. And you guys put my like your trust in me by watching these videos and taking what I have to say in consideration in everything. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you guys make that decision of what you want to do. But I, you know, I don't take this lightly. I mean, especially putting these videos out, it's a serious thing. It's a serious business. It's not just like, oh, let's start something online and you know, yeah. whatever, sell a, a widget here and there. But like, this is people's lives at the end of the day that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And it, it's crazy to see, like, I mean, I've never had like this ever in my mind to like actually meet people and do this kind of stuff. And yes, I see it online all the time of different people offering mentorship and, mm -hmm. but it's very rare that I get to do this one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and meet people that I've looked up to, which I still haven't ever met one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Reach out. Yeah. And I know I need to take my own advice. <laughs> I need to get my own advice, you know, but did you stalk them on Facebook. I, I haven't stalked <laughs> no, them on okay, Facebook, well. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's crazy because at the end of the day, like that's literally my whole, my whole goal is to help everybody that I possibly can. I mean, I am one person. And I don't have a team of people. She can attest to that. I don't like. Nope. <laughs> I don't have anybody doing any. I do it all, um, but I do it for you guys, and like I do it for everyone that wants to do this. And at the end of the day, for our elderly, you know, because like I want to have students that open up beautiful homes and take great care of those residents and. We do need better homes. That's just a fact. I mean, there's mm -hmm. just like there is bad big facilities. There's also bad residential assisted living. Like, 
Yeah. There's good and bad in every industry. Oh, your videos have been, it helped me. So yeah, I appreciate it. And we'll definitely do a tour of our house once they get everything like done. Absolutely. Um, I think it'll be awesome for you guys to show all the support to them. And like once they open up their home, and I think it would be great to Yeah, see. right now the curtains are still closed, but yeah. <laughs> once they, it's up and running, we will open up the curtains and share yes. it with everybody. Because at the end of the day, it's one thing for me to sit here and, you know, talk about like the starting point, mm -hmm. but it's seeing the finished product is what's more exciting. Yeah. You know, and I think that will be really exciting. And I know you guys are going to go through with all of it. And I wouldn't have done this video if I would have known you guys were just kind of like, oh, we're still on the yeah. edge of doing it. Uh, so I think it'll be really cool for them to eventually see the outcome and how far you guys have come. And I know I, we haven't done it like a house tour of like the before, um, which, you know, they, I don't think she was preparing for no. me to <laughs> ask that, but we will hopefully, uh, once they start renovating and stuff and Absolutely. we'll, we'll do a finished like product of the house and what everything like, and then we'll catch up on the entire process at the end of it, mm -hmm. you know? what what like what the inspection was like and everything yeah, from I'm guys. willing to share my lessons learned yeah. um you know and and how to you know avoid any mistakes that maybe we made along yeah. the way we're still very early in the stages so you know that's all just yeah. to be continued and then just to kind of see you know the differences like what I went through compared to what you went through yeah <laughs> and kind of seeing you know being able to tell you guys don't do this and being oh, I'm, like, I'm sure my process is going to go much smoother than way, yours. way, way much smoother. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're not going to get scammed. I promise. Uh, <laughs> I'll make sure of that. Uh, but yeah, so she's going to, once we get everything done and once the house is done, we'll definitely do a follow up video and, and you may have been able to meet my husband and my your mother-in-law and my mother-in-law. Yeah. So I think that would be really cool yeah. to see. And so Martha, thank you so much you're for welcome. being on the channel. She, like she said, she's not a huge person. She's not a camera person, but she definitely went out of her way to do this. So I appreciate well, her for that. And, and it's only because of the help that you've given us. Oh, so this you. is probably the biggest reason why I'm doing this. You yeah. know, I want, if I'm invested in something, you know, I'm not shy to share it. If I'm worried about something and I, I'm not shy to warn you. Yeah. Um, but this was this is important to me because of the guidance that I'm getting. And I just, you know, we've gone, we just got so much information from you and it, yeah. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Well, thank you so much guys. If you haven't yet hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And I appreciate all of you guys. And until the next video, God bless.